In this video, we're going to explore how we can use the append child option in JavaScript. And this is very useful because with the append child, you can attach a child tag to a parent, meaning attaching, for example, a tag, let's say a button tag or anything else, any kind of HTML tag to a specific item. For example, in here, we want to attach another paragraph or another a list item, we can attach them in here. So let's start and explore how we can do this. So the first thing that we need to do is we have here our HTML file and what we have here is very basic. And we have here our bootstrap template design. And what we wanna do is in here, in this here, we're going to append a child. And I'm going to explain then what does append mean, what does a child mean, and what is then the parent of the child. If you look here in the HTML tags, you will see here all of these and every tag has been nested within tags. And all of these nested tags are basically children. This is the child. This P paragraph is the child of div class body, card body. And this is the child as well for this. So there's basically two children and these two are siblings, brothers and sisters from each other. That's basically how you can see it. If you look here at the top, we have the HTML tag. This is the root parent or more commonly known as the root node. This is a node. Every of these tags are nodes. And then the HTML node has two children node or children or child. This is the head child and the body child. And within the body child, there's again another child. So all of these items are considered parents or children depending on their position or how they're nested within each other and the same goes with the text here this text would be a child of the diff as well specifically within this diff however i will not go deep in how to add up text we're going to explore now first how we can append a tag which is a child all right so let's start and explore here first so let's see what we're going to do. We're going to append, and append basically means attach. So the first thing we want to ask ourselves is who's the parent? The parent, and then uh, where will we put it in? And then what tag? Basically that. So where do you want to put it in? The answer is the parent tag. And where's the parent tag? Well, it depends. So let's say here, in our case, we have the div class body card. And in here, we want to append anything within here. We can do this by creating here an ID, or we can keep it as in the class. And I will show you later on how to do it with the class. Let's say here, we say here, card append. All right, so this ID is card append. So what we are going to do here now is we can create a constant indicating basically card append equals get of document dot get element by ID. Oh, and then make sure that this is in single quotation. All right. So now you can see this is our card append, or this is the parent. We have assigned now the parent. What we want to do next is we want to create a element. We need to create an element, and in that element would be, let's say, another paragraph. We could do anything else in here. We could do a item, but let's say we're going to do a paragraph or a hr that would be a nice one because it's very quickly visible so we say here const and this const will be a line and this line will be document remember we are in this document and dot create so instead of get an element we're going to create an element create element and what is the element so this elements are only tags so this, this is the HR tag. So there can be HR, a button, and we can do anything. I'll show you later on some different ones. All right, so we've got this now. We know what we want to add up. What is the next item that we want to do? Well, what we want to do now is the following. We want to append the child on it. So what we'll say here, first of all, we know where we want to append it on, which is the card. This is the parent. You can even call this parent. So we say parent, dot and then we say here append child 
and in here we put in the line. Remember, this is a variable or a constant, so no need to put some quotations here. But once we do that, we save this, and if you refresh now, you can see we are appending now a line, but it will append at the very bottom. All right? So that's one part of it. So what we can do here is, for example, we want to uh, trigger it by a click of a button. So what we can do here is we can create an ID, ID, and then we say uh, add line. And then we say your constant add line equals get a document. Remember document dot get element by ID. What's the ID name? Add line. All right. And then here where we say add line dot add event listener. And the reason why we do add event listener because we want we want to trigger. The moment we click on this, then we should trigger a function. So we say here, at event listener. And here, how do we want to trigger it? Well, when we click the button. So we say you click on a click function, basically. And if we click on it, what happens? We want to activate function new line. All right, so that's the function name. So what we're going to do now, you're going to say here, function new line. And that's basically we're doing here is we create a function now and I'm going to move this down here all right so we just give this a indentation that looks better there we are so once you save this refresh nothing happens but if we click on it as you can see now we start on adding lines all right so you have now the first part but what happened if you want to do instead of this you say well I don't want to have the ID IDs are single Remember that. So if there would be another one here, so let's say here we have two. This will not work as you can see here. As you can see, it starts to create it create confusion. It has two items here, but it cannot understand what's going on. As you can see here, probably I'm not sure if they will show. Oh, it doesn't show an error here, although you see this is not working. So what can we do here, or how can we solve this? First of all, we need to stop using IDs. Yes, so what we can do here is the following. Let's go, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to remove this as well. And I'm going to remove this one. So if we're going to use class names, we cannot use here get element by ID. And remember, because an ID must be unique in HTML, you're not allowed to reuse an ID with the same name. So it should be a different name in that case. So what happened if you have two items here? They want to and you want to have the class, but you want to target specific class. So in here, we will say here, get element. Element, sorry, is an S. Why? Because there is multiple. This is a, it's plural because there are multiple elements that can have the same class name. By class name. And this class name will now be named card body. All right, so we have this now. And then what we say is when we click on this new line, add line, everything else, we put in here, card append. Um, let's see what, what happened here. What am I doing here right now? Add line. Where is the add line? Oh, sorry, this is the button. I realized that we're on the wrong place. So I'm going to cut away this. And this is here the parent. So this is the parent. The parent is on the card body, and here, add line, this is still the button. We want to maintain this button here. So sorry about that. This, number, this was not document dot get element by ID. And then once we did that, if we refresh now, you would see, you would assume it will add here the card. It should add in here or in here. It will add somewhere. That's what you assume. However, you get an error. All right, what is the error? The parent child event is not a function. So you will say, what's going on here? I don't understand this. All right. The reason why it is, is because this is now an array. And what does it mean is if it's an array, now let me show you. An array would mean that there's more than one value. So we say here length. And because of that, um, I need to make this a console 
log. Because of the length, is an array length, it is struggling. No, it doesn't work at all. So let's remove this append. Doesn't work here as well. All right, so let's see here. So this doesn't work. Let's double check again. Now it gives a message. All right, you can see now, the moment we click on this, it starts to show that there are two items here. And the reason why there are two items, which is correct, because we have two card body classes. Remember, that's when the elements is with an S, so plural. Instead of by, with, by ID, it is only a single, it, because it knows it's only one item normally. And here it knows these are multiple. So what we're going to do now is, and this is the reason why this does not work. We refresh here again. We press, oh, that works still, but we get an error. And the error is it doesn't allow. And the reason why it doesn't allow is because this is which one does he want to do? Because it's an, considered an array, as you can see. We have two data points in the array, or two elements. So we're going to put in here the, in the first element, which is number zero, because array starts counting from zero. So in here, we're going to add up in the first element. So if we refresh now, we start to add up. We have it now in the first element. Everything works, no errors. You can see that. And maybe you want to do it in the second element, which is the number one in the array, refresh, and now it is added here in the second element. And this is basically how you can add up the class name, get elements by class names. And if you get an error, most likely you didn't put in here the array, but now you understand why there is an array and why even we have get elements by ID. So the logic in here makes sense. If oh, Sorry, get elements by class name. So the logic makes sense. If it's get element by ID, no S here, because it's single only. This is plural because there could be multiple. And this is a line you can imagine here. Let's do something else here. Uh, let's try and create a new item. And this new item will be a unordered list. And in this unordered list, we're going to give this, uh, let's see here, we have this class element. I'll just say here, class ul list and then we just put it in here and we could also do it on a tag name as well however for now we just maintain this this is our parent we have only one parent or there's only in the array there's only one value because it's zero because we only have one with this class name the ul list so what we want to add up here is a list item so if we save this and now we refresh then we start to append. You can see now we're starting to add up items here. And this is basically how you use the append child, latching it on or connecting it to the get element by ID or get elements by class name. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, put them in the comment section below. And if you're interested in learning about Chart.js, because all the knowledge you learn here about JavaScript is very applicable on Chart.js, check out my Udemy course in the description box.